don't suppose you're looking to buy something. I am. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Okay. Seems that we don't actually have a lot to sell, but okay. Um. So we'll buy the bombs, of course. We'll buy the health pulses. Do we need lyrium potions? I guess it wouldn't hurt. Injury kits. I don't really use them, so. Freeze bomb recipe, yes. Life stones, yeah. I'm just wondering whether I should bother with the corrupt agent. Mm, I'm not going to bother. I know we need it for bombs, but I can always buy a lot from um, merchants we get later on. Whenever we go back to camp, we'll be able to buy them. So, yeah, we'll stick with that. Uh, the Great Sword, we can sell that as well, actually. I'll just double check that I've actually sold everything that I want to sell. Yeah, it looks like it. I've got a lot of money, so you know what? Oh, crap. Should have done that. Uh, I want to buy back the Sorok bomb. Give me that back. And we're actually doing quite well for bombs now. Right, I believe that's everything. We'll just go and talk to a Balin and buy some stuff from him. And then we can... Uh, Progress. I hear there is an e I'm not doing this in a very efficient way, but whatever. Those are still don't have food to sell. Show me what we got. Right, so health, Lyrian potions, injury kits. Definitely happening. Lyrian potion recipe. I thought we already had that. Obviously not. Not going to bother with the agents. Life stones though. Lyrium dust. Yes. Elf fruit. Certainly. How many flasks do we have? We have... 26. Okay. I don't want to sell anything. So if we buy another 14. That should be enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. There's a couple of things that I want to do in camp as well. But then what I'll do off screen is I'll do all the inventory management and sell what I need to sell but I want to show the two things first just to get them done and out of the way so that in the next session we can just move on straight away keep your voice down if I were you I'm not interested in that gossip so if you go back here actually um, there is some elf root that's worth picking up. I think there's also a bit of death root as well. The death root doesn't really interest me that much, but the elf root certainly does. I know we've picked up some of it, but we haven't picked up all of it. Like over here. I don't think there's any over there. I'll have a little look. I don't know what's over here, apart from the spiders. Don't think there is anything back here. Nah, nothing. Okay. There's the death root that we didn't pick up. I believe there's elf root down here, possibly. Mayhap. No. Once you've picked the elf root, though, you can't pick it again. This is in, like Skyrim or Witcher, where you can repeatedly 
pick up ingredients and then what we're going to do is we're going to save because we've got one last little battle to do before we finish in Lothering. Someone help us! It's Dark Spawn! Okay, um, what? Alistair? Go for the Alpha. As you wish. Yes. Morrigan, I'm going to get you in there. Into the battle slightly here. So you can mind blast. The dog can go for that I guy. And shall I use a bomb here? I feel like I'm using a lot of bombs. Not really a good enough chance. If I'm being honest. I'll have to take a potion. No, I was down. That was good. Okay, yeah, I'll use the bomb now then. Or actually, I'll get out of it a bit. And then use the bomb. Alistair obviously can't fight. Let's finish this. Very well. How are we doing? Yeah. As you say. Very good. Now it shall be done. I shall do that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's done. None of that here. Hurry. Dog. Take out the herlock. As you say. Very It is begun. We're well. fine. No one needs healing. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of it. Yep. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path. Then it's good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Okay, and there is some stuff we can pick up. Another gift in there. Next session I'll explain what the gifts do. Sealed letter. Genlock. Herlock. And then out to the Banorn. The Banorn. The Banorn. <laughs> I'm going to stop saying that now. It's outlived its, uh, its purpose. Jesus. That's some dream. My uh, elf doesn't like it. Bad dreams, huh? It seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. And we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. The Archdemon. Is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. 
It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. You're a good guy. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Okay, so... As I've said, um... I want to... Do these two things here. So let's talk to these folks first. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? You're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. I have to say, when Sandal said, Thank you, kind lady, that, that wasn't Sandal's voice, in my opinion. Who knows? You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Right, let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to buy the gift. But there you go. Corruptor agent. You can always just come back to camp and buy them. So that's what I'm going to do off screen. Same with the distillation agents. They're good for stronger health potions. And then you get concentrator agents as well. Which can make even stronger health potions. And their room potions as well if you're using their room dust. There's the gold rope necklace. Backpacks, as you can see, are extortionate now. So that's why I bought those backpacks in Ostagar. From the quartermaster. Uh, let's talk to Sandal. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Farewell. So we've got that, and this guy as well. Levy Dryden, how are you, dude? You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins, Levy the trader. Duncan never mentioned you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. Okay. Poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. How did you know Duncan? It's a bit of a tale, that is. But I'm the one who brought the Grey Wardens back to Ferelden. Well, I was one of the ones. There were a lot of us. Make us breath, I'm a bit nervous. Honoured to be here, really. Go ahead, tell your tale. I want to hear this. After King Marrick freed us from the Orlesians, the Grey Wardens begged the King's permission to come into Ferelden. Some sort of internal business. Me and a mess of other Warden sympathisers spoke on behalf of your order. Tan Logain was very much against letting all Legion Wardens in the kingdom. But Marek, Andraste, bless him, was a fair-minded monarch and he let them in. Go on, I'm listening. 
So that's why I was there when the Wardens and their leader, Genevieve, presented herself to the King. The first Wardens in Ferelden in over a century. Proudest day of my life, that was. Duncan was a bit of a scamp back then. We were of an age and struck up a friendship. The King himself went with the Wardens on their mysterious business. When he returned, he rescinded King Aldland's decree, and the Wardens came back to Ferelden for good. Duncan was an easy man to like. <laughs> that he was. Um, thank you for your part in bringing the Wardens here. Oh, his stomach's all a flutter. You're welcome. So what uh, promise did Duncan make to you? My family, well, past a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Arlen banished the Wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Bit drastic. And then some. Not much is known about that time. After King Arlen died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run. Hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. So what favour did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honour. I've never even heard of Soldier's Peak. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honour. What do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted. And it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. And there we go. So, um, yeah. Other than inventory management... I think that's all, um, I think that's everything. So, uh, that's going to be it for this session, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these episodes, don't forget to leave your likes, your shares, your comments. That really would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you've been watching my videos for a while and haven't subscribed yet. And uh, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter as well to get involved in the banter that does happen from time to time and also to keep up to date with everything that happens on the channel but until next time guys goodbye thanks for watching